After years of delays and false starts, Nanaimo may finally be on its way to having a hotel that will serve the Vancouver Island Conference Centre. The city has searched far and wide for a developer with whom to partner, but the answer may have been in the city's backyard the whole time. As CTV's Chandler Grieve reports tonight, a local businessman wants to break ground on the project, but he'll need to mend some old fences first. And, and you can imagine the view that they would have. Particularly it's been his floors. focus for his city for the last four years. This whole area has been developed and, and I think the new hotel would be an integral part of it. A hotel connected to the Vancouver Island Conference Centre. Stop me in Nanaimo if you've heard that before. I mean, it's strategically, it's in the ideal spot. But the city may finally have an offer for prospective hotel owners that is too good to pass up. Came up with an option where they would have uh, up to 10 years um, without property tax if they built uh, this, this facility. The breakdown of the incentive package put forward by the city looks like this. A million dollar site to be sold for just a token price, likely around $10 a 10-year tax exemption on the property and city resources for parking and to market the attached conference center. Work with the casino and put a walkway from there as well. Those perks have perked the interest of Nanaimo businessman Roger McKinnon. He went head-to-head -head with John Rattan for the mayor's chair in November's election and he lost. For this hotel deal to work, the former political rivals will have to work together. A five-foot waterfall coming off the top of the bank, coming down. Outside of the political outside. ring, McKinnon is a very successful Gino businessman. Peter. Operating a hotel and spa in Courtney, he thinks a similar design with 140 rooms connected to the conference center through an overhead walkway may just work in downtown Nanaimo. Indoor outdoor pool, for an example, so in the summertime you can see the backdrop, and that will help fill the wedding. So the conference center will be work perfect. But if you want to get your pictures, talk about a backdrop with a 40-foot waterfall, you know, 30 feet wide kind of idea. Rattan says he quite likes McKinnon's initial design, but is questioning whether the size of the hotel can handle lucrative large-scale conference. But I mean, really, what we're trying to do is, is maximize the number of rooms that the conference center can attract. And right now, a lot of our conferences are limited to around 400 people. I personally would like to see um, something no less than 150 rooms, ideally 175 to 180. McKinnon disagrees. Actually, I think they really need between 120 and 140. And it's great that, you know, um, John would say we need that, but I don't think he's in the hotel business. If they can take off their gloves and trade ideas instead of jabs, these two may find some common ground and finally break ground on Nanaimo's most infamous empty lot. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.